frustration? You know, where do you sit 12 hours later? Same. I mean, what do you want me to say? We're out, you know, so first round exit too early, in my opinion, you know, so yeah. And one of the criticisms some people had of you coming out of Minnesota was your playoff performances, but you had six points in three games coming out of New York. you put that, whatever label may be behind you? Yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah, I mean, I felt fine this this uh, off season uh, like this post season um but you know same outcome you know second and uh, first round so you play with a lot of different line combinations <coughs> this year do you like that or would you rather build some chemistry with a couple guys of course you want to build some chemistry and you know stick with one line you know it doesn't really have to be one line you can move around a little bit but you know not uh, yeah, it was it was fine this year. Um, next year, um, with maybe I don't know, we'll see what happens, you know. But it would be nice to have you know, kind of your line, and uh, build chemistry and kind of know, know your line. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's so early to say. We, I mean, there's. We just were out, you know, so you're going to probably ask me so stuff like that probably before the season, next season. But, of course, we we had some good chemi chemistry. I played with Gabe a lot this season, I felt like. And, um, you know, Q also has done a great job in this position. And, yeah. Kevin, you probably weren't obviously 100%, but when you came back in the line, <coughs> what, percentage, what percent did you feel like you were playing at? And... If you can say now, after once the season is done, what were you playing with uh, over the last couple of months? What the pain you were dealing with? <sighs> something in the knee, you know. I just I don't want to go into details or something, but you know I came back. Of course, not hundred percent. You know it was yeah, it was bugging me, and um, so but it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Seventy eighty. I, I don't know. I don't know the percentage. But it was the same injury, right? That you same injury, yeah. Okay. yeah. Do you know yet if you're going to need surgery? No, or no, no, nothing. Nothing. Kevin, yeah, you talked about playing with Gabe. He's a player that you probably didn't know very well prior to coming here, being a younger player, not a lot of body of work. <clears throat> what did you learn about Gabe, and what can you say about his game? He had a great year, um, first of all. Um, you know, came in here and, you know, just looking at back to the to the camp he was fighting for a spot and then just came in and you know scored all the time and uh, and got better and better uh, as the season went on you know had some tough injuries as well but he he always came back and you know yeah like like I said before like he can score goals he can see he, he has a great vision great passer you know in my opinion um yeah, just a great all-round player. What was the adjustment like? New city, new teammates, new organization. What was the year like in that regard? It was pretty easy, actually. Um, guys are awesome here. Uh, helped me from from the get-go. Um, great organization, obviously. And, uh, you know, city. And it was very easy to, to fit in here with off the ice with, you know, sunny all the time and uh, we we bought a house also in the middle of the season so everything feels home you know quickly i mean i've been in nashville and minnesota longer than here and i feel i've been here the longest which is pretty weird so that's a good sign Kevin, what did you learn about this team maybe that you didn't know when you played against them and what <coughs> Yeah, you know, um, that's a good question, a, a lot, but the most, I think there's no panic, you know, even now, you know, um, we went down 3-2, uh, I've been on other on teams before that kind of thought it was over, you know, and I don't think we did, um, we really thought we were going to win it last night, and, you know, we felt it in the room, and the last few days there was happiness, there was no, nobody kind of, doubt us you know so in in the room so that was we never give up um yeah we always uh 
positive mindset and just uh, yeah I think it's a great great mix of a team you know with uh, with belief that we can we can make it happen yeah the deep run early in your career with Nashville and which I weren't able to participate because of the leg injury I mean how much did that kind of whet your appetite for winning and how, how much do you want to go on one another one of those runs uh, with this club now you get to kind of weather prepared here going forward yeah of course you always every year you want to go um, to the finals and win the Stanley Cup, you know that's why you why you play. So obviously, obviously that's what you want, you know. Um, so it was very fun in Nashville. Even when I broke my leg, I was with the guys and just great feeling. And you know you can't explain. We didn't win, obviously, but um, you know you can ask those guys here. They won. It's the best feeling ever. So I really want to do that. Time for one more. Sure. I said a lot of people talk about how strict pod system is, how rigid that structure. What was this year just to give you so consistency? It was good. It was, um, you know, just coming in here, beginning was a little adjustment for me, just changing a little bit, uh, you know, new system. But, uh, you know, as the season went on, I, I felt it was uh, pretty easy for me. All right, guys.